morning, everyone. This is Robert Stevens here on the Sunday, 5th of October of 14. And here's your Sunday morning Robert Channel newscast for today. First, some news headlines. <coughs> first, could be headlines, and the first thing is Marine could be first U.S. casualty of ISIS fight. He's lost at sea after bailing out. Young Company's Big Idea. The latest, former U.S. Ebola patient hospitalized. Man ill on airliner. CDC responds to the Ebola. Seatmate, according to Seatmate, the sick man was from Liberia. New deadlock in Hong Kong protest. F1 driver hospitalized after, after vehicle wreck. 45 tons of beef recalled. Man running to Bermuda rescued. New Brazil, Brazil to elect president today. Al Shabaab abandoned stronghold. America's most wanted terrorists. Typhoon bears down in Japan. Giants win longest MLB playoffs game. Enter virus D68 claims a second child in New Jersey. Offsets cause college football chaos. More on that later in sports. And now American headlines. According to Michael Smith, Cornish honoring Mumia at the Spikable. Com company recalls ground brief after metal complaints. <coughs> Blood Moon of Return, and this time it's bigger. Now on to sports course. <coughs> Last night, uh, 18 innings. Giants won 2 to 1 in 18 innings over Washington. And now lead the series two games to none. And uh, see the Cardinals. No, the LA Dodgers went one over the Cardinals three to two. Those time that you at one all. Today's games: Orioles and and Tigers will be at quarter of four today, and at and after seven thirty. <coughs> The Royals will score off against the California Angels. Oh, California is alive. Well, <laughs> and sports headlines, Giants win in 18 innings. Ole Miss on Spama. <coughs> I saw that game, by the way. TCU Sox, Oklahoma. Kemp Blast Live Dodgers. Elsewhere, FSU overweight, 43-3, big one. Arizona over Oregon, 
31-24 by TD. Mississippi over Alabama, 23-17. TCU over Oklahoma by 4, 37-33. Auburn over LSU, big 41-7. MSST versus Texas A&M, 48-31. Bay over Texas, 28-7. to Utah Nips, UCLA, 30-28. to Notre Dame beat Stanford by a field goal, 17-14. to MSU over Nebraska, 27-22. to UGA over Van to build, 44-17. ASU over USC. 38-34, Wisconsin over North, uh, no, Northwest over Wisconsin, 20-14, USU over BYU, 35-20, OSU over Maryland, 52-24, another blowout, Oklahoma State over ISU, 37-20, ECU over SMU, 45-24, KSU over TTU, 45 to 13. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is today. Today's NASCAR races will feature the following. Starting from one first place on down. Kevin Harwick leads. Brian Vickers, Eric Almirola, Joey Logano, Jeff Gordon, fifth, Brad Kosowski, Kyle Busch, Dale Earnhardt, the second, Tony Stewart, Casey Kane, tenth place, by the way, Greg, Greg Biffle, Carl Edwards, Paul Menard, Jamie McMurray, Martin True Jr., Austin, uh, Martin True was the fifteenth place, sixteenth to twentieth, Martin True Jr., Austin Dillon, you know, Austin Dillon, Ryan Newman, Kyle Larson, Clint Boyer, and A.D. Allen Dinger. Now 21st to 26th places. Justin Algayer, Marcus Ambrose, Ricky Stenhouse the second, Kurt Forsten, and Danny Hemling. 26th to 31st. Casey Mears, Matt Kenseth, Michael McDowell, Danica Patrick, Reed Sorensen, and David Gillian. No, Reed Sorensen. 31st to 36th, David Gillian, Jimmy Johnson, Alex Bowman, Josh Wise, and Lanson, Lanson Gessel, 36 through 40, Michael Lennett, David Reagan, J.J. Yelly, Cole Witt, and Timmy Hill, 41 to 40, Mike Bliss, 42, Joey Gaze, 43, Mike Wallace. As of today, the Spring Cup Series at Kansas. Today at 2 on the ESPN Network. <clears throat> Soccer game played last night. Manchester United over Everton to the 1. Today's games. Chelsea over Chelsea against Arsenal after 9. And so is Tottenham against Southampton. Later today after 11, West Ham against QBR. And now football. Oh yeah, tons of football, baby. First, our Patriots play the business of any Bengals at 30 here at Gillette Stadium. So that will be it. Other games today will be the Bears against the Panthers at 1. 1 p.m. starts. Panthers against Bears. Browns against Titans, Cardinals against Eagles, Falcons against the Giants, Buccaneers against Saints, Texans against Cowboys, Bills against Lions, Ravens against Colts, Steelers against Jaguars. Four o'clock starts after four o'clock. Cardinals against Broncos. Chiefs against the against the 49ers. 
Jets against the uh, Chargers. And uh, besides the Patriots, <clears throat> Bengals, no, and that's it. Already a formation our Patriots home against the Bengals. And uh, Seattle Seahawks, Seahawks Monday against the Washington against the Redskins will be tomorrow on Monday Night Football. <clears throat> Okay, right now, weather for right now, it's currently 50 degrees and partly cloudy. Today will be sunny, high 62. Tonight will be a low of 42 and clear. Next seven days. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, tomorrow, mostly sunny. Low 53, high 67. Tuesday, partly cloudy. Low 59, high 72. Wednesday, showers. Low 49, high 71. 40% chance of rain. Thursday, sunny. Low 45, high 62. Sunny. Friday, morning showers. Low 47, high 62. And next Saturday, partly cloudy, low 45, high 58. And that concludes your weather segment. And it's now time for a look at traffic. Everything's clear. All highways in Boston and Providence are clear. But a few restrictions I need to tell you about. Incident on I-93. No further information. And then another incident for the up 93 uh, by Route 111. Bob, and, and then Austin Road close off ramp block from Mass Bike eastbound and exit 20. Construction from Boston Road, right lane close on Mass Pike Westbound between exits 18 and 22. Road closer on ramp uh, by Stroll Drive at Cambridge Street for the Longfellow Bridge. Traffic incident on US 1 by I 95 and 93 in Canton. Two highway closed Route 79, that's a long term construction. And that concludes your traffic and your overall news newscast for this morning of October 5th of 14. Have a great day, everybody.